हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई अमर राज योर फिजिक्स टीचर अगेन बैक विथ एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आंसर्स इन लास्ट सेक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन a blacksmith hammers a, a hot piece of iron while making a tool how does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron since the hot piece of iron as you know becomes soft so hammering changes its shape so how does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron the answer will be the hammering changes the shape of piece of iron next question number 7 an inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it has been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth it was found that the balloon sticks to the wall what force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon at the wall from your early classes you have studied that when a plastic object or here rubber balloon is rubbed with synthetic cloth it becomes charged when rubber is rubbed with synthetic cloth it becomes charged and the charged object exerts electrostatic force the force exerted by a charged object is called electrostatic force so the here the force responsible for attraction between the balloon and the wall is electrostatic force due to charged balloon next question number 8 name the force acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand discuss why the force is acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion force is acting on the bucket do not bring change in its state of motion this is the second part of question first part of question is name the force acting on a plastic bucket force is acting sorry force is acting that is more than one force acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand here the force is acting first is the gravitational pull acting downward by the earth and the second force is muscular force applied by you that is the person which held the bucket above the ground so first is gravitational force and second force is muscular force by the person holding the bucket second part the answer of second part will be the force is acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion because both the forces that is gravitational force and uh, muscular force says muscular force both are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction they are opposite in direction so they cancel each other and their resultant becomes zero this will this was the answer of question number 8 now question number 9 a rocket has been fired upward to launch a satellite in its orbit name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad when rocket leaves the launch, uh, launching pad the immediately after leaving the launching pad the forces acting obviously one is gravitational pull towards the earth and uh, another would be the force of uh, rocket engine the force applied by rocket engine there would be third force there may be third force also and uh, you have to write any of the two forces aapko kewal do force likhna hai third force it uh, may be the air resistance the friction due to air so any two you can write here in question number 
now the question number 10 when we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle kept in water air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles once we release the pressure on the bulb water gets filled in the dropper the rise of water in the dropper is due to here obviously due to atmospheric pressure as we have discussed the dropper or the syringe these equipments work on atmospheric pressure that's all we have completed the 10 questions of ncrt of this chapter force and pressure